is the iPhone 3G, and today we're going to be shooting it with a bunch of different air guns to see how durable this is. Now I know what you might be thinking, why not shoot the iPhone 13, because the glass might be stronger and it could do a little better. And the answer to that is, what kind of budget do you think we have? Because this right here is the best that we can get. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot this. This is your classic airsoft spring pistol. I'm saying this won't even make a scratch. So as you can see, even with a low-powered spring pistol, it still was able to shatter the glass. Let's go ahead and shoot it with a gun that's three times as powerful and see what damage that does. Okay, this is the Umarex Glock 19 shooting 0.2 gram BBs at about 300 feet per second. This is about three times as powerful as the other gun, so uh, this should make a lot more damage. Okay, as you can see, we kind of got it in a very similar spot to last time, but that is a lot of damage right there. You can just see that the glass is splintered. Oh, I was, I was cutting you off there. Okay, you can just see that the glass is completely spiraled out. Yeah, needless to say, you're not going to be using this anymore. This is the Umarex Beretta APX, and we're going to be shooting steel BBs at about 400 feet per second. As you can see, we got a ton more damage. I can't actually see the BB in there, but the screen is completely just completely gone where it hit. Now that's pretty good, but let's go ahead and shoot it with something twice as powerful as that. Now this is a steel BB gun shooting at 600 feet per second. Let's go ahead and see what it does. Okay, it did go a lot deeper into the phone. You can see it completely chipped the screen right off. Honestly, it's pretty similar to this one right here. It, it did go a little bit deeper, but we can't see the BB stuck in there. So let's go ahead and bump it up and get to the biggest gun we have. Okay, this is a 22 pellet gun and it's going to be shooting 22 pellets at 975 feet per second. In three, two, one. I think we got it. Okay, here we have the pellet, actually. That is amazing that we were able to find that. Look at how mushroomed out that thing is. That's pretty crazy. Okay, the actual phone itself. Oh my word. That is, that is pretty crazy. It made a massive, massive dent in the glass. It just took a chunk right out of it. It isn't damaged on the back of the phone. I kind of want to shoot this with a 22 pellet gun again, but this time on the back of the phone and see what it does. Okay, 22 pellet gun versus the back of the phone this time. Let's go ahead and see how it does. Okay, as you can see, the pellet has gotten stuck into the back of the phone, and it did actually make a crack in the aluminum. I'm assuming this is aluminum. And it did make a very nice bulge on the front of the phone. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and comment below what you want us to shoot next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.